Hey, what's up, travel and workout warrior? Jackie Elmer here, and I want to talk to you today about how to incorporate fitness and maintain your fitness goals when you're traveling. Whether it's a hotel or an Airbnb like I'm in today, I want to talk to you about some simple hacks that you can have to keep your fitness going. Now, I typically travel with two pieces of equipment and I'm gonna share in with you in a later video how to do workouts on the go with no equipment. But I travel with this resistance band with the handles and I'll show you how you can incorporate simple exercises using this. And then also my Gaim strap that I like to use or resistance band. And if I have to choose just one to travel with because I'm out of room, this is the one that always gets the grab, the Gaim resistance band. I like this, it's quality, it's a little more expensive than, and not a lot than you might pay for other pieces of workout gear, but I like it because it literally lasts for a really long time and can take on a lot of resistance. I also, I, I travel with it in a little Ziploc plastic bag. I coat it with um, powder. I, I will put some powder in here and roll it up, which you'll see it's kind of chalky looking because that helps keep the rubberized part of it um, solid instead of getting hard and brittle and breaking. And then inside this little Ziploc, I have on index cards, just some simple workouts so that if I get to that point where I'm thinking, gosh, what do I do? I know that I will have some simple workouts. And for instance, I like to do five for five, five exercises, five minutes total, three times. So that ultimately gives me a workout of 15 minutes. Now I will tell you, I'm all about slight edge, little pockets of time to create those fitness habits to get things done. And when we're traveling, that can be super important because we have other things that we're doing. So sneaking in a little workout here, a little workout there, pretty soon you have 15, 30 minutes, 45, even an hour or more to your workout. And I always have my water to hydrate with and I finish it off with my Brain Booster Coffee, also known similar to Dave Asprey's Bulletproof Coffee. All right, starting with the resistance band with the straps, there's so many different things that you can do with this. First thing I do is I will just simply put it under my foot and I can do bicep curls, right? So you can simply set a timer on your phone or watch. I have an Apple watch here, so I can just set it to do a workout and it'll time what it is that I'm doing or you can set a timer on your watch or phone to time your workouts. So we're just gonna simply do bicep curls, right? And I like to keep my hands not like super hard gripped on them, but we're just gonna simply do bicep curls. That's exercise number one. Ideally, do this for 45 seconds, or if you have a certain number of repetitions you wanna do, that's great, but 45 seconds. When 45 seconds is up, you simply pause for 15 seconds and then you move on. So this is essentially, we're gonna talk first about an upper body workout. From there, I'll step both feet onto the band and then I'm gonna do a back exercise, right? Where I'm just gonna simply, gently and slowly create resistance by raising by the sides, okay? So this is how I'm gonna do this one, and again, this is your back workout, and as you start doing it, you'll feel it. If you want a little less resistance, take one foot off the band, it loosens it. And I, don't, I like to not come all the way down, just enough to where I still feel resistance. So I never lower it completely. I've always got that resistance going, and again, 45 seconds. Now, another great thing that you can do, if you have something in this particular case, this Airbnb has a nice, column so I can simply use this I'll come back over here and make sure you can see me and I can pull again this is working my back it's also working the rest of my upper body but again set it for 45 seconds simply shoulder press right using this I've got my foot standing in the middle 
got my foot standing in the middle, and I'm simply doing these overhead raises. Again, 45 seconds. Now, another thing that I will do is forward raises. Okay, and then again, simply step on it with both feet if you want to create more resistance. And this is great for your shoulders. So there's five exercises that you can do, 45 seconds each, repeat it three times, and then you've got a complete 15 minute workout. All right, so let's go through that again. We've got bicep curls. Then we've got back, okay, where we're gonna do our back just like this. This is another one for the back. And you can step as far back as you need to to get the resistance that you want. And then overhead, it's triceps. And then for shoulders, we'll do our shoulder press. So you can either do double or you can do individual, depending on your goals for that. So that's an upper body workout, again, five exercises for five minutes, repeat it three times, and you've got 15 minutes. And just a quick note, you can do any of those same exercises that I already showed you. You can do all of those with this band as well. You just don't have the handle, so you're just gonna hang on to it and do your bicep curls. You can do back. You can certainly bring it around here and do your second back exercise you can step on it and do the uh, and, and as I mentioned in the first part of the video you can do shoulder press but this can also be bicep curls I'm sorry tricep curls and then of course you can do right forward raises so there's nothing that you can't do with this okay one. for a leg workout I'm gonna show you just using the guy resistance band. Of course you could use the other one, but again, just some simple maneuvers, some simple movements to create that resistance in your body. So the first one, we're going to just do kind of, you know, just working the legs. So you can create as much resistance as you want or as little resistance as you want. You can also do this doubled up. And fair warning, I live in Arizona where I live barefoot most of the time, so the bottom of my feet might not be the cleanest. And if you're doing one leg at a time, then you're gonna do the other one. Which I honestly recommend doing individual legs. You get, in my opinion, a better workout. Then we're going to tie our band. Like this going to use it around our knees and you'll have to play with it to see just how much resistance you want in it you might need to loosen it make it a little tighter and again depending on where you tie this is going to determine how much resistance you have now we can just simply do squats with our legs wide at least shoulder width apart but that little bit of resistance as we go up and down, 45 seconds. Now in that same squatted position, we're gonna walk left to right. And it's not so important how far you go in each direction, 45 seconds. So if you wanna go like five or two or three, the most important thing is to maintain your posture and stay in that squatted position to get a good booty workout as well as your quads. Now again, with that resistance band tied around our ankles, we can simply just kick back. Again, feeling that resistance, just slowly using your quad and your booty to work that side, this, this particular leg, right leg first, or whichever one you want, and then same thing, left leg. You can either do 45 seconds total or 45 seconds per leg. Now with that same concept, we're gonna combine the squat and the extension. So we're just gonna squat, kick back, squat, kick back, squat, kick back, squat, kick back. 
Now it doesn't matter, you can touch, okay, especially if you're kind of new to this and just working to get your balance. Kick back. Other things you can do with this, you can just do the side. You'll feel the resistance, just kind of toe touching to the side. Or you can just simply do without the squat. So there you have a simple lower body workout. And of course, you never wanna miss an opportunity to get outside and get your cardio in, in the great outdoors where you can breathe in the fresh air, meditate, see some different sights, and just really make the most of your time away traveling to still get your fitness in. I'm Jackie Elmer, Travel Life by a Pilot Wife. What are your fitness plans and what do you use to maintain your fitness level when you're traveling and on the go? I would love to hear from you. If you like what you hear, then certainly subscribe, share it with anyone else you may feel would benefit, and leave me a comment and let's have some dialogue. I'll see you on the road or in an airport very soon. Learn more about me at highaltitudehabits.com.